Welcome back. The way we transact financially could be in for some dramatic changes in the coming years. And one company that is on the cutting edge of that is Shadow Holdings. And with me is the CEO and founder, Neil Fillery. So great to have you back. I'll see you again. So give me just in for those who didn't see our first interview, an overview of what Shuttle Holdings is doing. Yeah, sure. So Shuttle Holdings is a, is a private investment office. Um, we are about 16 people globally um, in five locations around the world. Um, we get early exposure into emerging technology opportunities, so we invest our own principal capital, and then we look to grow these companies over time, um, pretty much on the venture side of our business. We also run a fund um, that gets exposure to uh, publicly traded crypto assets, uh, which has been going for three years now, launched out of the US, it's a US uh, manager. Um, and yeah, we play the markets in certain themes and we get exposure either directly or through our fund vehicle. So let's talk about crypto a little bit, since you're involved in that space. It's been kind of an exciting year so far. Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's, there's the markets that have been, you know, accelerating. I think Bitcoin's up over 40 percent um, since the start of the year. Um, I think only one other asset is uh, actually outperformed Bitcoin, and that's Tesla, which is quite remarkable. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, so we get exposure to these, these assets. Um, I think there, there's more and more institutional capital that's um, coming into the space, which I think is helping to drive uh, the price of the digital assets up. Um, and yeah, it's evolving over time. So It's interesting you mentioned the gains with Bitcoin because in the last decade, you know what Bitcoin was up? Nine million percent. Yeah. I mean, it was by far the best performance, which is interesting because it could have been like a pivotal decade of change. Maybe it was foreseeing some change or something. Yeah, I think it's, everyone's still grappling with, you know, is it what, how, where does the value come from from Bitcoin? I mean, originally, of course, it was digital cash. It was a peer to peer transaction method to move value around the world. Um, you know, is it a store of value? Does it behave like gold? I mean, the, all these questions keep getting asked. Yeah. Um, but there's no doubt that um, it's not going away and it's here to stay. Yeah. And it's, um, yeah, we, we get exposure to, to that asset class. Um, but the real fundamental stuff for us is we, we look at infrastructure and the way in which, we, you know, the financial system can be supported by, um, you know, new companies coming in to change the way in which we do business, change the way in which we transact peer to peer with each other. You know, there's a whole new big digital shift that's going on in markets today that's really transforming the way we do business. Well, and that's what I want to talk to you about, because that's really what you're involved in. And this company, DAX, that you're working with. So kind of tell me about that company. Yeah, so DAX is one of our lead portfolio companies. Um, it's a business we launched a couple of years ago. Um, what it's really solving is, is, is infrastructure. So it's a, it's a foundational security layer to actually manage the private keys of holding digital assets. Now, we have the belief within our group, and this is shared amongst the, the sort of you know, digital asset community, that all asset classes will become tokenized in some way in the future, um, fully end-to-end, -end, fully digitized. And really what DAX does is it manages the life cycle of those assets. So first of all, it secures the assets. So we partnered with, um, strategically with IBM. Okay. Um, they bring the highest levels of certified security around their hardware. Um, and we've built a software stack on top of IBM's you know, highest grade hardware to manage these assets. Mm -hmm. um, so security is a huge thing in the digital asset sure. world. You know, the risk of theft and hacking, that, that's always discussed. Um, and then we've built this best of breed value added services piece on top that enables you to manage those assets mm -hmm. and thereafter. Okay. And the peer to peer is also a key part of the whole digital transformation. So right. explain yeah. how that fits into everything. Yeah, so um, with, with the blockchain and digital assets, the ability to transfer value between you and I peer-to-peer -peer without a centralized counterparty, mm -hmm. that has a lot of value for us because it you know, avoids bottlenecks. It's, you know, it's inefficient sometimes to move. A lot of fees. Yeah, a lot of fees. Yep. So every time you, you know, move value from one, one through a bank to another bank um, and ultimately clear that, that, that asset in a, in a particular country, that can take some time. So it's creating efficiencies by being able to move value peer to peer. And that's okay. an important part of our business. Yeah. Now you mentioned your partnership with IBM. So that is kind of opening up some more liquidity for you as well. Yeah. So uh, IBM, um, we, we chose IBM as a vendor because of their um, experience and depth of their hardware and their ability to secure uh, assets effectively. So IBM, you know, they, uh, they service over sort of 80% of MasterCard and Visa transactions globally. They have relationships with 90 of the largest 100 banks. They, they pretty much run the transactions of the world from a hardware perspective. Okay, so finally, um, what kind of things are on your radar screen for 2020 that you'll be watching in this space? Yeah, so we've, we've launched um, a hybrid product offering with the DAX business. Um, 
in, uh, we actually go and launch it officially um, in May of this year. Um, we're doing it in San Francisco, IBM Think. IBM Think is one of the main uh, technology conferences around the world. Um, it's you know, attended you know, in, in the masses. Um, and we are um, two products, as I said. So one is an enterprise grade custody product. So we're targeting the larger banks, the big institutions that want to service their clients with digital assets. So we're building that infrastructure for them. Mm -hmm. And then there's a more retail consumer led product um, that offers um, the same levels of security as we do for the enterprise product, but it's a much you know, simpler bundled product into market. So that's the biggest thing for us this year. Okay. We're launching that into the market um, okay. in, in May of this year. So okay. that's really exciting for us, yeah. Exciting, and I hope you come back. It yeah, kind of, because this is a fast changing industry mm -hmm. and it's super interesting, so. Come yeah. back and explain what you're what you're doing. Great. So thanks so much, Neil. Thanks very coming. much. And thank you as well for joining us.